Okay, so this follows my video on aperture practice where I show you how to change the aperture in camera mode and use video mode with autofocus to switch what you're focused on with a low depth of field. Once you do that, you need to import your footage. So I want to show you how to get it in in case you don't know. So I plugged the SD card in the back of my computer and now I had this pop up. So I'm just going to go here and see what I can find. I got two folders, DCIM and EXECT. EXECT is not going to do anything for me. So I want to go to DCIM. That's not doing anything for me. So back out. DCIM. Okay, here's where I start to see some shots. I want to go to list view. I don't like that. Um, in list view, you can see the date modified. The most recent shots should be the ones that you just got. So I got these today. And these are my videos. So I'll go ahead and just drag those onto my desktop. That's where I will rename them. So I'm not trying to rename them on the camera. Let me change the sorting because I also got a video today. So that's video. Where are my pictures? Oh, I put the I put the memory card in for the for the pictures for the video after I took them. So um, the pictures are not on here, but if I had had the memory card in the camera when I took the pictures, the pictures would be on here. But you just look sort by the date, get your JPEGs, get your memory card, and drag it on here, and then from here. If it's going to SB News, you put it on the network drive under SBN, whatever episode we're working on in a folder related to your topic. If it's going for an assignment, just save it somewhere that you can access it and turn it in. So that's how you do that.